you a monster. Thanks. I have this because I didn't want to walk in with this bag. I went to get us an eighth. Oh my god. I got us two ounces. Why? I even want weed. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm buying these, uh, but if you want two ounces, 120 and 240 for two ounces and two candy bars up in this motherfucker. I got you a candy bar. Um, but you have no idea, dude. Dudes were not joking. Real deal weed. Dude. Fucking, one of these smells like fucking Cheetos. Straight Cheetos. Citral Flow, this might be the Cheetos strain. I'm not even playing. Smell that, it's like a bag of fucking Cheetos. It does smell like Cheetos. <laughs> it's like straight up fucking Cheetos. And normally, pineapple cheese number three. Dude, we're about to get fucked up. <laughs> That one doesn't smell like any food product. No, but mandarin cookies, you know, I, and this, they only give an eighth at a time. Oh it's just won a shit ton of awards. She gave me a quarter. I fucking convinced her, but that's some mandarin something. Oh, that smells really good. And Where then, is this place? South Broadway? Yeah, then I got quattro cookies. I got a Jesus quarter of. Christ. Smell this. This is real cheesy, too, this quattro cookies. No, I guess I'll take some, Jesus. <laughs> or, well, dude, or we go back later, you get your two for 200. And the horse, dude, I think I was talking to her and she fucking gave me, she said she couldn't give me more than an eighth of this. Mm -hmm. I think she gave me a half by mistake. It says 14 grams on it. Sativa? That's a cut. Yeah, these are pretty much Let's all sativa. Let's roll it up, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to try that fucking cheese doodle shit. We can smoke more than one blunt today. We generally do. Yeah. I woke up with the worst stomach ache ever. Really? Yeah. It's what. I, it's because I ate torchies last night. Uh, Dude, my stomach is like, killing me today. That's why I'm like running like super slow. So I'm just like dying. Yeah, dude. But, you, gotta, you might want to go here. I'll bring it whenever. Yeah, let's go. Do it. You want to know, wait, the real irony of this place? You want to know where it's located? Between the kind room, the wicked raven, like right there with all the those shitty- The walking raven? The walking raven. <laughs> all those shitty dispensaries that yeah. I've hit, it's just hidden behind mm. them right there with the best weed in the fucking world. We haven't even smoked it yet and it's already the best weed in the world. This is what you do. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yesterday the Poudet was the best weed in the world. Within fucking 10 seconds of walking into a new establishment off the beaten path, my man is like, nope, it's the best one. Here, this is on me in one uh, third place. Thanks, bud. You're my friend. Thank you. Um, thanks, right. pal. I'll put the, I can't wait. Man, I don't even know. What to do. I'll take an eighth of the Mandarin. She's like, just so you know, for your first time, ounces are 118. I was like, all right, I'll take two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, I gotta get dressed. I'm not even dressed yet. All right. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at this big fat perfect blunt. My G. Look at you. It's a new day. We're smoking that Cheetos next, dude. Really, I feel I hate to be that way to him, but like, I feel the same way like my boy from Maine that grew that shit. Like, it's good. Great job. Like, no offense, but. Don't get you stoned? It's just not the same as this shit. Hmm. So, the irony. Well, there's a lot of irony. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you tell them. Because when I say things, people people take my tone of voice the wrong way. But would you explain to me now how the, you're feeling about this New York weed that we're discussing? It's just not, you know. Well, wait, we're not. Let's keep the purple haze out of this, okay? But it's just, I'm interested. I, hate, I think that I hate you're to right. Play devil's advocate here, sir. But logical conclusions would bring you to think these might be the same thing. It could be of the same, cut from the same cloth, if you will. <laughs> cut from the same plant. Roll from the same fucking stash. Yeah. You know? Like that weed yeah. smells like fucking Cheetos. Like, Brandy, if there's one weed I can get Brandy to smoke, it's gonna smell like Cheetos. That's my only chance. She smoked weed. What are you talking about? I know, but she I mean, it, to get her to, time. every night You're is You're not gonna just turn your girlfriend into a stoner. He is almost ready. <laughs> just that. Oh, shit. That'll heal good though. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Going up. It's your boy, the weed man. The weed man. The, the weed man is out here. To yeah, to the Migos concert. That's good. Run them backstage pass. He said he'd bring me a heater. Like a, like a, like a nine millimeter? No, a fucking heater. That's it, Omar. That was against the law. You're one of us. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the illegal life. Can't hang around after Go. the crime. Go! Get in! Omar, you're gonna get us all popped. What's the ladies like running out of the salon? Hey, bring your fucking dog here! 
pee It's out a no here. pee sign. We're royalty on this block. Yeah. I just start peeing on their grass yeah. myself. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> you start taking his shit. They're like, what the fuck is happening? Call the cops, bitch. Yeah. Call the cops before I take another. Blue sky shits on. Dude's <laughs> on. You would long. definitely make King Star. Yeah. Hundred percent. If you just shit on that. Drama alert, nation. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Semi, I don't know if I'm a small or large YouTuber, according to Keemstar, so. Yeah. Up and coming YouTube. Up and coming YouTube. The boost god, oh, it's Teddy, took a shit on his neighbor's lawn. I applaud you, sir. He just starts clapping. He's like, <laughs> he also drinks G Fuel. <laughs> Thanks, Keem. Went, walked up here to get torchies because yeah. I was starving, and then I regret it because I'm starving. Whoa, the mic just fell apart. No. Then I have to make the decision about when to get Omar neutered. Like that. It's all right, I'll, get a, I'll grab a cold one at the... I'll grab a cold one at Walgreens, man. We're almost there. Hell. A couple Amen. of brewskis in the dog park. Another goddamn day, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool, take the cam, I'll be back. All right, Omar, it's me and you. Don't start whining, buddy. Now listen. Coming right back, homie. Well, we're having a little podcast, me and you. This is what we would frame it like. Talking shoes with Omar. Omar, wait. There, purple. Oh. Here we are at the pharmacy. Picking up a drug testing kit. Teddy wants to start drug testing me. I'm not really sure. Um what we're testing for because weed I'm gonna fail it's gonna be positive positive for marijuana I'm back hey all right we're off Isn't it too warm or do you know we're going to the dog park now because you're smart and you've learned yeah. that when you get in the car now yep wait till we take you to the doctor and he puts a thermometer in your ass you're fucked. then you're gonna realize it ain't all fun in this life you're all wants it <laughs> See, I think when I edit the vlog a lot, I pr I'm, I'm protective over you. So I protect you for the crazy shit you say and I don't put it in there. Let it go. And then that's why I look bad because I, I don't care about myself. I throw myself to the wolves and just let all these crazy things that you let it slide. Yeah, let it go. Yeah. You stop. Come on, Omar. Good boy. He laid right down. So I'm staying out of your live streams. Why? Because it, I watch them in the morning and I jokingly roast you and then it turns into a conversation throughout the day and then people think I'm mean. So I think I'm, it's great. I'm I think just, it's a great dynamic. I missed you today. I'm like, is Teddy oversleeping? Like I did. any minute I he could come in and roast. I'm like, I, what's going on here? I did here? not feel good this morning. Damn, homeless fucking people are just lounging. That was awesome. Dude, that girl she was, was like, in like a fucking bikini top yeah. on the side of the highway. Yeah. Like on a blanket with some old dude. I love it out here. Colorado, land of the free. Home of the homeless. This guy's pissed she just broke up with him. <laughs> that was me on the blanket last week. Girl's probably killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate her. <laughs> I'm sure she's taking care of that song. <laughs> you think she's like a... She's got a lot of friends. She's a fucking homeless dude gold digger. It's like there's tears to yeah, it. She's like, she's not like necessarily looking to be... She doesn't need a home or a bed or anything, but she'll fucking, you know, maybe you give her a burger or something. You're hanging with her for the night. She's out on your blanket with her shirt off. Oh I don't know what to tell you. Oh my God. That dude's like get jealous over. Yeah. She's like the heartbreaker of the group. New guy comes to town, hey, there's two rules to this thing. Anything you get, we share. And keep your hands off Cindy. She's <laughs> no good. <laughs> She'll break your heart, man, I'll tell you. Cindy walks up, she's like, hey, you're new. <laughs> you're cute. Just hits him on the nose and <laughs> walks away. Keep right. Oh boy, this guy, he's doing to me. Nice, dude, get in there. We both fucked the guy behind us. Whoa, what? In a corner. <laughs> <laughs> what? Use the right hand. We both cut off the guy in the back. Back at the dog park. Back at the dog. Holy. Oh, hey, mister. Hi. Hi. Oh. Pugsley, you're gonna be famous. Has his own Instagram. Nice, does he? Yeah. 
Hey. Good man. Whoa. Take it easy for a minute. Relax. Alright. Three o'clock. Just got lunch. I gotta get some stuff ready also. Let's see. I have a I have something I have to get to Sager by the afternoon for a future drop. Actually for the mystery bag drop. Thursday, six o'clock PM. Actually, uh, since segue, Thursday, 6 p.m., mystery bags, small to triple extra large. They are $20 a piece. Shipping is $5 for domestic. International prices vary depending on where you live. Anything from a t-shirt to a windbreaker, hoodies, pretty much anything we've made. Uh, to pick your size, you can get multiples because I really can't stop you from getting multiples. And uh, what other questions are there? Yeah, good luck. Some of them are super stacked. Some of the three of them have $100 bills in them. They should get delivered before Christmas if you're domestic. Everything should be shipped out by Friday. So I'm gonna eat some lunch real quick and then uh, do a little bit more work and then we'll do this bed review that I still have to finish cleaning. Didn't come clean that easy. Peanut butter doesn't come off the bed that easy. First thing, first part of the review. But you also probably shouldn't be in a situation where you get peanut butter all over the mattress. Back to bed, huh? Especially after that dog park, huh? Lisa, Lisa mattress. I've been talking about getting a new mattress because I've been looking for a new mattress forever. Buying a mattress is always a big choice. Like anytime that I would think about buying one, never really wanted to deal with it. I didn't want to go to mattress stores or bed stores and lay on beds and pretend like I was going to know what I wanted to sleep on just from laying on it. Uh, mattresses are also expensive. You know, you could spend anywhere from three to five thousand dollars on a mattress, but I definitely knew, I definitely knew that I needed something. I started, I made a tweet and people started suggesting different mattresses for me to try. Pretty mixed feedback, you know, a lot of people have favorite mattress companies. But one thing that I noticed is there was a lot of new mattress companies that are just mail order mattress. And that's not something that I'm used to. I've never, you know, mattress is usually pretty huge. You need a truck to move it to your house. The bed that I was sleeping on literally, well, it didn't really feel this bad, but it definitely wasn't comfortable. It was a, not necessarily the bed of nails, but my back was super jacked the next day all the time for years. And I just kept putting it off because I really, I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to find a bed, deal with the financial stress that it is to buy a bed and, you know, just make that big purchase without really having any kind of idea what I was looking for. So the people over at Lisa reached out and, uh, you know, we made it a little agreement and they decided that they would send me a free bed if I would tell you guys what I think about the bed. But I was very excited because I never had a brand new bed and to get one for free is just a straight up blessing. So I was pretty hyped. I know you can't tell by my face here, but I was hyped, trust me. Um, a couple of days later, a box showed up. Box is probably not to scale, but a box showed up and it said Lisa on it and it had four stripes. Now usually I'm all about that three stripe life. On a bed, we made a little bit of an exception. We went with the four stripes, you know, we took a chance on that extra stripe. So but one thing about the Lisa mattress that's super cool is there is a hundred day return policy. So if you order the bed, the bed shows up, you sleep on it, you get a hundred days to sleep on it. If you don't like it, they'll come pick it up and then they will donate the bed to a shelter and then they will give you your money back. Um, so there's really no risk involved as far as you get to try it out and then once you try it out, you know, hopefully your mind is made up without, you know, yeah, hopefully your mind is made up. So you open the box and then inside is uh, your mattress which is rolled up into a pretty tightly compressed Swiss roll. Uh, so you have your Swiss roll bed rolled up and you're gonna have to unpackage that. So you really just wanna pull off the clear plastic that is on the outside. Once you take off that plastic, the bed should basically it's not an inflatable bed, but it will auto, you know, it'll basic, what is the word I'm looking for? Once you take it out of the plastic, the bed will unfold and take its full shape within really just like an hour or so. It didn't even, not, not even that. Basically it takes its shape kind of immediately. And then you have your mattress just ready to go. The mattress itself is pretty comfortable. I have to be honest. Uh, as soon as I got it out of the box and laid on it, it felt pretty good to me, just initial reaction. 
I would say that it is a medium to medium firm. If you, you know, some people like super firm mattresses, some people like them to be very soft. Uh, I would definitely go with medium, medium firm on this one. But there's three layers to the mattress. Uh, the mattress itself has a soft cover on the outside. The first layer, which is two inches, has a vino foam, which is an alternative to latex that also withstands compression. So there shouldn't be too many divots from laying around in the bed. It's also perforated to help keep the mattress cool. The second layer is also two inches and is made of memory foam. And then the third layer is a six inch dense core layer which is for stability. Mattress is not reversible. Mattress is not reversible so you won't be able to flip it but the uh, quality of the mattress ensures that you're you're you know really not supposed to have to flip it. But um, yeah so overall with the Lisa mattress my opinion on it is that it's absolutely great. I've been waiting on a bed frame for it because I've been sleeping on a box spring basically forever. I used to hate bed frames when I was a kid, but uh, yeah, anyway, I am waiting on a platform bed frame, but I've been just sleeping on a box spring and it's just, it's been great. I've, I'm not an awesome sleeper in general. It didn't really take me that long to get used to it either. It's like really the first two nights I slept like a baby. I don't have any other really awesome mattresses to compare to. Uh, I'm sure that there's other great mattress companies out there, but this uh, Lisa mattress has been everything. Once again, they gave it to me for free just to talk to you guys about it, which is just a super blessing and I'm uh, very appreciative of and even more appreciative to finally have a mattress. I didn't have to go to a mattress store. I didn't have to pay anything for it, but if I had paid for it and I didn't like it, I could have sent it back. No hassle, no questions, and it's affordable. This is a California King. I believe that comes in at around $1,000 and um, I even have a discount code for you guys. If you want to order one, you'll be able to follow that link and you should get $100 off. And yeah, but that is the uh, Lisa mattress review and and that is it. Lisa Mattress review. There's a party going on. And um, see you later, alright? Peace! They all look scared, but don't be scared. I promise. It's not scary. <laughs>